Today, guys, we're going to be taking on a task that there's a nearly 100% chance of failure. I was scrolling online about two years ago, and I found this right here. It is a do-it-yourself taxidermy squirrel kit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but pretty much anybody that lives not in a city has wanted to be a taxidermist at one point in their time. If you don't know, taxidermy is the art of mounting animals. And so two years ago, whenever I saw that kit, I was like, you know what? I want to try it. I bought the kit, and it sat on a shelf for literally two years, but today we're going to actually put it to use. Now what's really cool about a squirrel hunting taxidermy kit is that first we have to go squirrel hunting and we're going to do double vision. Okay, turn on your GoPro. What I mean by double vision is that you can see me and you can also see me through that camera right there. Say hello. Hello. Like wave your hand. Hello. Okay. Ethan's going to be going one patch of woods. I'm going to be going to a different patch of woods. And you're going to be able to follow us along with both squirrel hunts. Our objective Literally kill as many as we can. Or our limit. Yeah, our limit is six per person. We'll skin all of them, and then we'll pick out the one that is shot up the least to skin for the taxidermy mount, and then the rest of them, we'll skin them up and eat them ourselves. Sounds like a plan. So uh, without further ado, Ethan's going that way. I can literally see three squirrels right now. I'm going to just let you go do your thing. He's using his weapon of choice. Or not by choice, it's by, kind of by default. But he's using a 12-gauge half-filled modified choke with eight shots. Eight shots may be a little small, but should be more than capable. See that squirrel up top? Yep, I see him. All right, you go do what you gotta do. I'm gonna head out and go to my spot. I'll see you later. All right, good luck. I'm gonna grab more shells. Take the whole box. As for me and my weapon of choice, I'll show you them whenever I get to the location. Take the whole box, for real, just like grab the box. That squirrel's done for, boys. I know, there's literally, there's literally like four, right four, there. yeah, five squirrels right there. They're all right there too. Yeah. So just get up close, take that one, and then keep your eyes open because there's going to be another one start squacking and then just shoot him. All right, I'll get them. All right, we'll see. Good luck. Hopefully, don't die. Yeah, we're going to go up and try to get these. Come in and seem like five. While Ethan goes that way, I'm going to go this way and hopefully get on a big pile of squirrels of my own. He'll literally kill that one before we get out of the field. No kidding. Like, there's that many squirrels right there. While I'm on my way to my squirrel spot, Ethan's probably going to go ahead and kill that one. He's over here in this tree. Kind of far and want to sneak over to him. There might be fox squirrels down here saying we are by the river. He's in this tree right here. That tree. Worried that he went. Oh. That guy's gone. I'm just gonna go back up here and try to get one. This spot that I'm choosing, I actually don't know if there's many squirrels here at all. But what I do know is that there's a lot of predators here. There's a lot of fox and coyotes. And I don't imagine there's gonna be many predators where there's not much prey. So, you picking up what I'm putting down? My weapon of choice is actually this Franchi Affinity Waterfowl in 20 gauge. I actually done a whole video on this called uh, my $1,149 mistake. Was it a mistake? I don't know guys. It's literally performed extremely well, except it does fail to feed a lot, but maybe that's just cause it's new. I don't know. Is it a mistake? I think Ethan just shot. There's one. He did. He just shot again. Just shot a third time. My goodness, he hasn't hit anything, has he? Anyways, this is is this gonna mistake? I don't know yet. I need to use it a little bit more. They're all up in this tree. So those you see me shoot, I forgot that I was using eight shot with a modified choke and it's a little too far, but I shot anyways and we've got two down here. I didn't hit the other one, but we definitely got two and we're gonna go over here and try to find them, pick them up and see what we can get. That's nice. Rip my pants on some bob wire. Here's one. The other one's right here. Got him for now. We just look for more. They're all in here. The squirrels been super active because it's been so cold. So they're running around trying to get their food while they can. And tomorrow is supposed to be a big snow too. So they're just like, you know what? Let's go get food. So we're taking advantage of it and gonna hunt them. Hello, great wise man. So I came up with two conclusions. Either you, you're too busy picking up. Oh dang, you got two? Yeah, so far. Okay, good. I shot them from how like. Many shots was that six? Five. Yeah, they was very far away. So I'm gonna go down here. There's a bunch more down here in this like bottom. I'm gonna go try to get yeah. those. All right. 
Go get them. All right, we'll see you. Good luck. All right, don't dash. And now we have to make our way back down the hill. Yes. I'm going to walk on back here and see. Can't run on any squirrels in the stick or stuff. I'll get back with y'all if I find something. As of right now, it's not looking that way. And we've only got two squirrels. KG has now pulled back up. All right, guys, we got those two. I haven't seen a single squirrel besides the ones whenever I drop Ethan off. I think this morning was actually a really good time to squirrel hunt, but now it's actually starting to get windy. So they were active this morning, but I think the squirrels are kind of calming down now. Anyways, we got these two. Either one of these looks probably okay to skim. Neither one of them shot up too bad. And regardless, it's not like this is going to be a perfect mount. So we're just going to go home, pull out the taxidermy kit, and by golly, we're about to get to it. Wish us luck, because we're going to need it. All right, guys, we're back at the homestead. Come check this out. Now, as you can see, and as you know, we got the two squirrels. Oh, well, we got one squirrel. Anyways, but well, here's the here's the kit. Now, the shipping date. Let me see. The shipping date on this is 2019. So uh, <laughs> I've had this for a long time. I've just never actually bit the bullet, I guess, because I really don't want to see what this is going to turn into. Like, it might give children nightmares. It probably will. It might give me nightmares. Or it could thrust my new career in its direction. Okay. I may have to quit YouTube and be a taxidermist after this. So here's what we got. We got a lot of stuff in here, and I ain't got a clue what half of it does. I do know that this is the piece of foam that you wrap the squirrel around, okay? Bro, guess how much a squirrel do-it-yourself mounting kit costs? 60 bucks. $40. That's cheap. Yeah, it is. So that means that a taxidermist that charges $300 to mount a squirrel is charging Two. roughly $250 for their skill and time, which is definitely worth it because you're going to see what my skill and my time looks like here in just a moment. We got this. I don't know if that's useful. We got this. I said, dang, dude, that's just like grass. Maybe it gave you eyeballs in there. I got a needle. Okay. Thick, I guess that's needle. to sew stuff. I got thread. I got, appears to be napalm. <laughs> oh, instant preserve. So I guess I don't have to flesh it and stuff we got a piece of foam i'd say that might go in the tail here's the eyeball here is uh is that a uh, like scat no that's just clay never mind I, I guess it's it's three years old it might be dried by now and then we got this which is instructions i do need that and then that's all that i have bruh i need a knife do i not Oh wait, actually I do not because I have a KG pocket knife available at Kendall Grade Wonder Comp Size Shopper first link in the description. This one is our blue line flag knife. It has been through it. Deer, raccoons, fox, washing machines. It's been through about everything. But today, apparently, we're going to have to rely solely on this knife, which I'll be honest, this is not meant to do taxidermy. But I do not think that my knife is going to be the weakest link in this process. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Step one, blast the squirrel out of the tree. Wait, no, that's step 11. Mm -hmm. Step one, we gotta go. Let's get started. Cue the time lapse, I guess, or just the montage. I don't know. Heck yeah. That's pretty impressive. Probably gotta put some of that instant preserve on him. All right, now we got the instant preserve. If you just strap this stuff around that, since this squirrel's not really fatty, that won't be much of a problem, but how there is little pieces of skin on there, and especially around the tail and the head, neck, whatever, you do want to preserve it because it's basically raw meat right now. We're gonna take some of this instant preserve, and I reckon just kind of like smooth her on there, like we're about to be cooking or something. Big sandpaper or something. I don't know if it, what this is, whether it's borax or something like that, but not even in the slightest did I think it would go as good as it's going right now. I didn't either. Like, I thought I was gonna have to like cut the head off, stick the head on there, but I actually skin the head really good somehow all right and now i think it wants me to uh what does it want me to do um honestly i think it's about time i strap it up <laughs> dang that's pretty good it really is dang dude i'm good i'm good at this i may for real quit where's my its job other ear? huh where's its other ear i don't know <laughs> oh gosh this squirrel's way bigger than the mouth but for the most part you can kind of see where this is going it's not looking bad at all is it no Dang, how did that happen? I already got a knot in. What, what'd I do here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm tying a fishing knot to tie the needle on. My directions are in the water. We quit using those a few minutes ago. 
<laughs> Alright guys, my masterpiece is finished. I have good news and bad news. Good news, it's finished. Bad news, I may have to uh, slow down on my YouTube career to focus more on my calling, which is taxidermy. His name is Timothy. He, uh, his fur didn't line up with the mount, but I tried my best. Check him out. You can, he has a, he has a lot of personality, especially in his face. <coughs> um, uh, really, it's really pretty, really nice. A lot of detail, a lot of, a lot of craftsmanship went into this. Oh, his eye fell out. Where does I go? Here it is. Look at that. You tell me right now you don't think that's a real squirrel. I'd shoot at it. I would too. I'd shoot at it for, you, you did. You, I'd shoot at that thing until I ran out of bullets. Look at my pet squirrel. Ah. My pet squirrel. It's dead. You want it? No. Watch out. It's got spikes all over it. Oh. His name's Timothy. Timothy. Timothy with a P-H. You look good? Yeah. You can have it. I don't want it. It's, uh, it's not stuff, is it? Kinda. He's frozen, ain't he? Uh-uh. Where'd you get him at? Out of a tree. Yeah, you got him out of a tree, but uh, I don't want him. 